boy, Uncle Dave is sure gonna be surprised when he finds this new coral I bought him for his birthday in his aquarium. Joseph, what are you doing in my fish tank? Well, I was trying to surprise you for your birthday with these purple people eaters. Well, that's mighty nice of you, Joseph. But did you treat that coral with Coral RX first? No need to, Uncle Dave. This piece looks perfect. No, Joseph, no! So, what's there to do around this reef? Well, we're into being healthy. We eat right, get plenty of light, and grow. Well, that sounds pretty boring. You guys need to live on the edge of the reef. Any of you guys in the Nudibranch? No. Well, how about flatworms or red bugs? Never. What about spiders? Absolutely not. Stop pushing. Come on, dudes. Let's rock this reef. One flatworm's not gonna hurt you. It'll be a blast. Okay, just one flatworm. But then I gotta go. Wow, man. This feels kind of good. Oh, man. I ain't feeling so good. Hey, guys. Who let this coral into our aquarium without dipping him in Coral RX? Look, Uncle Dave sees that we're sick and he's pulling out the Coral RX. Thank you, Uncle Dave. Thank you. Yeah, but it never should have come to this. If only Joseph knew to first use Coral RX before ever putting a new piece of coral in our aquarium. That's mighty nice of you, Joseph. But did you treat that coral with Coral RX first? No need to, Uncle Dave. This beast looks perfect. Joseph, stop. Well, what for? Listen, son. A beautiful coral can still carry critters that we don't want. Any coral, for that matter, can carry parasites you might not be able to recognize. It's much easier to be proactive in treating every coral we purchase with Coral RX before putting it in the aquarium versus pulling corals out of the aquarium after the fact. Let me show you how easy it is to dip this coral in Coral RX. We start by measuring the appropriate amount of Coral RX to be used with one gallon of salt water. Next, we take our coral and we gently shake it in the Coral RX solution for about five minutes. You will immediately see parasites begin to eject themselves off your coral. You can now see these unwelcome critters at the bottom of the bowl. Lastly, we rinse the coral with clean salt water and place it in the aquarium. Wow, Uncle Dave, that was easy. I can't imagine why anyone wouldn't dip their coral in Coral RX before putting it in their aquarium. I couldn't agree with you more, Joe. I have personally witnessed Coral RX remove acropora-eating flatworms, red flatworms, monopora-eating nudibranch, zoanthid-eating nudibranch, bristle worms, zoanthid-eating sundial snails, zoanthid-eating spiders, and some hair algae. The best part, Joe? It is incredibly gentle and does no damage to the host coral. If we ever had an outbreak in the aquarium, repeated treatments are possible every four days to help break the life cycle of stubborn pests. Thanks, Uncle Dave. You taught me a valuable lesson today. You know what they say, Joseph. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. <laughs>